Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome, welcome. And thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your holiday reading, December 24th and 25th. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and like and comment. Not only is it great, it's a gift for me for this Christmas when you do that. Thank you, guys. It really helps to bring your vibrations into the future readings, and I set my intentions towards my community, my subscribers, my people that like, and the, even my viewers. And there's a lot of you out there. There's 80% of you guys aren't subscribed, but you're watching. Thank you so much. Please remember to check out my description box below. And after the reading, I've included a take note moment and it's on how the tarot works. Okay, Cancer, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Ace of Pentacles. This is great for a gift. It's a new gift something that you'll be able to help yourself with. This new gift, it's a gift from spirit. It's a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles. It's a new opportunity for real growth. It's creating value. This gift can be used for further gain. Now would be a good time to make home improvements. It could be a lump sum of money. This card also stands for worldly status and achievement. This is recognizing your calling as your fate. Because each one of us is uniquely good at something. This earth energy or pentacles or diamonds or discs. This is the suit of the merchant. It has to do with money and the acquisition of fortune, and has to do with trade. This is a seed to be nurtured, and you can find inspiration and joy in nature. And you should ground yourself with proper self-care, rest, and leisure. Your second card, it's the energies crossing over your path. This can be a challenge. Two of Swords, this is air energy, has to do with your mind and thoughts. And this is a stressful decision. You're at a stalemate, a standstill. You've postponed some decisions. The Two of Swords. This is a decision that seems to be stressful for you. And it's just that you need to seek more information. You need to look honestly at a change that needs to be made. So ask questions because you need more facts. Contemplate your options. And listen to both sides of the story. And good is going to come from a courageous decision. You're at a standstill because you're feeling uncertain. It could be that you may not wish to offend someone or hurt someone's feelings or someone that's involved. It could be you might be denying the truth of something so you do not have to deal with it. But ignorance or denial can cause you to be stuck in a circular emotional pattern. This could be being frightened or unsure of which way to move so you do nothing at all except try and ignore it. And you might want to listen to something because you may learn a secret. Your third card, this is how it affects you, and this is your attitude. The Ten of Wands, fire energy. You're feeling overloaded. This is a lot of responsibilities. They may be ambitious burdens. But you're near the end of this now. The Ten of Wands. This is, this is advice not to let pride stand in your way of asking for help. 
you're feeling burdened by life, this responsibility might be wearing you down. So make sure others are doing their fair share. Sometimes this is the workaholic laboring over his overcommitments, and you may be testing your limits. But this burden is soon to be lifted, and a problem is soon to be solved. This is perhaps maybe cultivating gratitude and acts of generosity will prove to be very helpful to you. But don't give up. Your difficulties are almost over and a new cycle is beginning. So persist in your goals and tough it out. Keep going. You've come too far now to let things drop. It might help just to delegate some responsibility. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome. The underlying, it, it's the uh, results and the advice. The Seven of Swords, more air energy. This is someone using evasive tactics. Uh, they're being sneaky, maybe trying to get away with something. The Seven of Swords. There may be a need to avoid some kind of confrontation in order to reach the correct decision about someone or something. It's because direct or aggressive tactics won't work in this situation, but diplomacy and charm will work. So it's a time for brain and not brawn. Sometimes this indicates a dishonorable act, but there's still time to correct the situation. You might have to use some diplomacy to gain the upper hand over a tricky situation. Use some research and skillful preparation. Study the competition. Use caution in your dealings. There may be some indirect communication going on. So gather some information and use your wit to achieve your aims. But be wary of overconfidence. It could be that someone's not being up front with you, but you're doing what you need to do and take measures not to lose something. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number seven of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Chariot. This is swift action. It's control. You're controlling inner forces inside you. Maybe a desire for materialistic things over spiritual things. You're steering the middle way. This can also indicate travel. Number seven, the chariot. This is a positive and quick result. This is movement with planning, so stay the course, because there is a clear path to victory. This is that little extra push hard that you can do anything or fix any trouble that arises. And you have a clear sense of purpose, and you're keeping things going in the right direction. So use your self-conviction and your control. Sometimes this indicates your car or transportation. And Cancer, this is your card. This is the Zodiac card for Cancer. Thanks, you guys. Now stay tuned in and leave me a comment. So take note. This is how the tarot works. The information is within the mind of the seeker, the querent, us that are asking the questions, rather than in those actual cards. The images act as mirrors which offer a reflection of unsuspected knowledge buried deep within our subconscious minds. The tarot works as a bridge between our conscious and unconscious knowledge, our unconscious knowledge being of a realm in which time does not exist and knowledge is not limited to the images received from our senses. Answers and knowledge arise out of the unconscious through dream and fantasy and intuition. The tarot cards stimulate intuition when sensitively read. 
The tarot contains natural wisdom and law, striving towards balance and wholeness, with seeking to achieve integrity of personality. Thanks, you guys. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you.